So Off The Ball have teamed up with Movember to help change the face of men's health and to shake up men's health research, help combat mental health, suicide and prostate and testicular cancers and you can donate by getting onto movember.com forward slash donate. Uh, to talk about Movember and what you can do and the benefits, I'm delighted to be joined by Damien Sheridan. Uh, Damien, former footballer with Mead and Central's Town, now working with the GEA as a promotional officer. Good to talk to you, Damien. Hey, Nathan, how are you? Thanks Very for having well. me on. You're a part of the Ahead of the Game programme with Movember and the GEA. What's that? So I suppose uh, what it is is that it's start those conversations around mental health and mental fitness and um, the GA, GPA and uh, Movember have all partnered up together, formed this phenomenal partnership to uh, kind of start them conversations and get out into GA clubs to start having the conversations with young people and coaches and parents and communities. So what are the GA, the GPA, what are they doing um, in terms of getting out into the communities? What's an offer? So a lot, um, there's over 20 of us now trained up as facilitators and tutors. So we're going to be getting out on the ground and going around the clubs and giving these mental health workshops, firstly, uh, to the young people. And then secondly, there's the workshop coming in at the parents and the coaches. So we're starting them conversations around what is mental health and mental fitness and developing mental resilience. So it's uh, countrywide, um, so it's going to be great. I think we're going to hopefully link in with 10,000 participants and over 200 clubs. So it's a massive, massive partnership and massive project and program, which is going to hopefully see a lot of success. Uh, you're probably similar to myself that when you were growing up, the words mental health didn't really exist. But when you're going around talking to kids now, they'd be well aware of that sort of language. I wonder when you're talking to the parents and the coaches, is there still a bit of bit more educating almost for them more so than the kids you're talking about, what it all means? Yeah, you're 100% right. Back when I was younger, it was just get on with things and you know, there was no kind of discussions like this and I suppose I would have loved if this programme was around when I was a young person, it would have helped me so much and I know a lot of people talking and a lot of facilitators who kind of send, send the same message, would have I suppose, took the thinking out of it for us. Um, I suppose the kids now, the world is a different place. So it's a kind of different approach that you're going to have, different conversations you're going to have with the parents. And as you say, it's a lot of an education program and uh, just generating that kind of conversation and I suppose taking the fear out of talking about it, talking about how can we develop mental fitness and develop mental resilience. How do you develop mental fitness when you're talking to, to the kids you're chatting with? I suppose it's we're talking about early intervention about um, having that trustworthy adult within your life that you can go and talk to early early doors as you say it's, it's about being proactive not reactive and having that early intervention and allowing them to have that safe place to go and talk to people and I suppose having that second workshop with the parents and coaches it's educating them and I suppose giving them a greater role within their coaching or parent or the role within their club that they can be that person that the young people can come and talk to so that it's a safe place for them. And I think with that early intervention, um, it would take away the fear for them to be able to go and talk about it. And when when clubs are, are thinking about this and when they're listening to the talk, like having that, that per, and maybe it's a, different, it's a different person for everybody that they go and talk to, or is it a fact that actually clubs can can appoint people, can train up certain members of the club that they are they are the uh, identified adult that's available and maybe it even doesn't need, always need to be an adult? Yeah, I suppose we, this part of the programme is kind of uh, being a smart aleck and we talk to the young people about, you know, checking in on your friends and asking, listening, you know, and being attendant to your friend and then they might want to trust an adult, I suppose. As facilitators, and there's a lot of present county players, ex-county players, we realise that we have a, a position as a role model to these young people, and it's we take that all, we're all taking that very seriously, and being them positive role models within the club, and there's you know within the GA, it's a massive, massive organisation, but there's massive amount of volunteers, so there's so many, I suppose it's making young people realise there is someone you can always go and talk to to have that early conversation. And as I said, it's going back to being proactive to have that early conversation instead of waiting and waiting and then reacting to this, the bigger situation. What sort of feedback are you getting from the kids you're talking to? Really engaging. 
really, really engaged. And I think when you're willing to have that conversation with them, they're willing to have the conversation back with you. So it's it's taking the fear away from having the first conversation kind of thing. So we're just sitting down with them and giving the workshop, talking through it. And it's very much a kind of informal workshop. We're not we're trying to be with them and talk with them and not at them kind of thing. So yeah, it's a it's a phenomenal program. I'm really excited to be involved with it now. What's your own story then? And you mentioned being a kid and you wish that something like this was available. Uh, where did your interest in it come from? Um, I suppose I work, as you say, I work as a promotion officer within the GA. So I'm getting to have a lot of contact with young people. So I'm, I'm seeing a massive need for it in the present. I suppose my own situation was, you can probably tell from my accent, it's not very... Uh, dominant to one county so we were born here and then we spent a good bit of time in England and we came back and I kind of struggled my own identity coming back and kind of social isolation and things like that and struggling to find my own my own find a, my own self within the group I suppose if this was in the club and someone was saying that you know if you need to if I needed to talk to someone back in the day I could have just maybe that coach was that person I could have talked mm. to and offloaded some of my worries and stresses as a young person that I could have been, you know, the best version of myself. And I think by having these conversations, we're going to allow kids to be the best version of themselves and take the fear away from it. Um, you know, there is always someone there for you to talk to trust and adults within the club. As I said, the, the phenomenal thing about this program is it's it's going to be at the grassroots, you know, where we're getting out into the clubs and really talking to the kids and the volunteers. And, you know, I love the GA. I think it's a phenomenal organisation. And I just think there's so many great people involved in the GA. It's making that message get out there that, you know, you have someone within your organisation, someone who's in your own club, or you have a friend that you can go and talk to to have that conversation. Because I guess when you are looking back to when you return to Ireland, when you talk about it there, and, you know, you mentioned your accent, and all you probably needed to do actually was have that that figure you could talk to and say how you're feeling and how you're feeling a little bit isolated and um, how maybe you've been picked upon a little bit because of because of the accent, not been the uh, the thick meat accent of a lot of the lads you were probably yeah. in school with, that actually one conversation might have changed an awful lot of things for you. Yeah, and that's that's it. it. All I needed was that one, as you say, that one trustworthy, one positive kind of person within your life. Um, and I think the thing that is great about this program with uh, Movember ahead of the game and link with the GA and GPA is that we Movember using sport like the common goal is the GA is the common goal with mm. us all and it's our own identity and I suppose I, what I was saying myself I was struggling to find my identity but the, the GA pitch gave me that identity and the GA club gave it to me so that's why I'm so excited to be involved and that's I think that's what individualizes this program is they're using the sport using the tool we have to create that safe environment and by getting out into the clubs and going to the young people's clubs where they are comfortable, it may let them put their guard down. You know, there's, there's massive research being backed and I think there's over 18 studies done on Movember's uh, programme and how a positive influence it can have on uh, engaging with young people and clubs. And it's just a different environment as well. So I guess there is an organised part of something like this where you're sitting and you're, you're making a conscious effort to talk to the players. But actually for coaches who are sort of having those short, quick fire interactions with players across the course of an evening two or three times a week, that actually if you're tuned to it, you can suddenly realise when something's off with somebody and yeah. over a period of time maybe spot a bit of a pattern. Yeah, and that's it. It's just... Well, the, again, through the program, we kind of upskilling and educating, and the, it, talking about the, um, I suppose, the characteristics of different situations and different um, mental health conditions. And I suppose when you have that conversation, it's, again, it's just educating. So if we talk about it, you're a bit more upskilled on it, and especially with the parents and coaches, as you say, you might notice then, and it strikes up that conversation straight away. Or maybe I'll just have that informal chat, or it might even develop the coach's characteristics themselves to be a bit more vulnerable. And then the, the young person might feel that they can come and talk to the the coach or the parent or, as I said, the trustworthy, trustworthy adult that's in their life. Because, like all the studies shown, is that early intervention is key. 
Yeah, that's an interesting point on the coaches as well because, um, you know, coaches at all levels are guilty at looking towards the elite of the game, uh, both, say, in GEA or other professional sports, and there's that sense of the coach, the manager is the alpha in the room. He has to be the absolute leader and he has to be without weakness and certainly can't show it, that actually getting down onto a level with the players can have massive benefits. Yeah, and it's funny you mention that. Uh, at the launch up in Crow Park today, Larry McCarthy said a great um, <clears throat> a great point was from a, an American coach that fun is good, and that was his philosophy. And as you say, bringing the fun in kind of creates that safe environment. We all enjoyed the GA. That's why we played. That's the first reason we went down to the football pitches to kind of create that fun environment and just to be involved. So it's, it, that's, it's important to keep that message going. And then, as you say, if we can educate doing these workshops, it kind of strikes up the conversation and it takes the fear away from having that conversation, first of all, for the young person, and then also by educating the coaches that they feel upskilled, that they can have that conversation so for anyone who is listening in who feels that this sort of program be of real benefit to their club, is there anything they can do or is it just being rolled out across the country and just wait and it'll it'll arrive in your doorstep? Well, there has been contact uh, from the GA through the Healthy Clubs and then you can apply to take part in it. So it's all been linked in through the Healthy Clubs. Um, so And then you apply back and then a timetable and schedule and all of that would be sorted out through the necessary channels kind of thing. All right, very good. Uh, Damien, thanks a million for joining us. Thanks very much. Uh, can I just say yeah. a big a big shout-out to all the facilitators. There's some phenomenal people that I've kind of trained up and all the training that we did get, it was, it was absolutely phenomenal to be involved. I feel privileged and I can see that it's going to be a really, really positive programme rolled out. So, And thanks very much for giving us the platform to talk about. Brilliant. No, an absolute pleasure. Damien Sheridan there, who's part of that Ahead of the Game programme with Movember and the GEA. And no doubt, no matter what club you're involved in, you're going to be seeing and hearing about that over the coming weeks and months. Uh, Off the Ball has teamed up with Movember to help change the face of men's health and shake up men's health research. You can help combat mental health, suicide and prostate and testicular cancers by donating at movember.com forward slash donate.